y'all are here because you guys have all read Peace Out of Baby Ducks. And so would you normally be in class? Yeah. But you didn't come out instead? <laughs> is that why you volunteer to like, yeah, we'll read the book? <laughs> or is it because, why, yeah, why did you, how did you guys get hooked up into this? Who, how did this happen? Um, she made an announcement. She, you're like, I'm very alive. Yeah? To, um, during middle school meeting, and a couple of students got to, well, she had a couple copies. And, oh, nice. Yeah. So you guys have all read the book already? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to ask you, I want to hear some things about what you thought about it, and you're allowed to be honest, and you're, you know, in fact, encouraged to be honest. But um, first thing I want to ask you is, what do you think about the cover? I love the cover. I love yeah. the cover. Yes. I do, too. What do you like about it? Because you didn't have any words. Yeah. So I was trying to, at yeah. first, I was like, what's the title? And then I opened it. And so, yeah, and, and the title is, is written on the back, too, but I've had people say that, too. They're like... Is it peace, love, and rubber ducks? Is it peace, love, and ducks? But yeah, it works, I guess. You figure it out. So now that you've read the book, I don't know, somebody break down why you think it's titled that. Why do you think I called it that? I kind of understand the love section. OK, what's the love section? Um, first, she has a crush on Cole in the beginning, and then she falls in love with Roger in <laughs> true love. And then there's friendship love as well. So. Yeah, how's their friendship love? Um, well, she makes new friends, like Ornzel and Peyton, sort of, yeah. and, and her sister. Yeah, Boys sister love, too, yeah. All right, I want to talk more about Cole and Roger later, but okay, so you took the love section. Somebody take the peace section. Okay. I kind of thought about how um, she was trying to find peace in her life, like yeah. a balance between how she went on that, like, adventure thing, and then she comes back to this artificial life, and she's trying to figure out how to balance what she learned and life she has. Yeah, yeah. And could it, could y'all relate to that at all? Y'all all go to a, 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 a kind of ritzy school, and Carly went to a ritzy school. And how do you guys do that in your own lives? Is there a struggle to find that balance? Well, you want to be able to keep, keep a sort of level between school and then your regular life. Like Carly, when she came back, she, her main focus was keeping everything real. But also, she lived in sort of like a rich neighborhood, yeah. which is kind of hard. So she, and she said she wanted to find like a balance between the two. Did you guys like Carly or get annoyed by Carly? Well, at first, oh. like, <laughs> I, mean, like, I liked her a lot, but sometimes I was like, how she can find a better way yeah. to like find the balance. Yeah. And that if she was like helped her other friends instead of trying to like convert them. Yeah. And she like kind of eased them into it, but I liked her. Yeah. So when you say convert them, what was she trying to convert them to? Well, she wanted to like, um, since they were all like the rich kind of like plastic kind of people who like yeah. got the hair done, the nails, wanted to like wear all the, like the skimpy clothes and stuff. She was like, like be yourself. You don't have to be like everyone else. Like be unique. But she kind of like forced it on them. Yeah. It's like she thought they didn't want to. She thought that she was right. Yeah. So they like had to. But if she like kind of ease them into and show them how it was better. Yeah. To be like yourself and maybe to like you want to be like people. It was fine. Better to be yourself. That makes me think of that one scene with Anna where Carly is saying, you know, I'm gonna wear this wild and crazy shirt, and Anna's like, You're kidding me, right? That thing is really ugly. And and Carly's saying, I'm not gonna be a Barbie doll. And Anna kind of is a Barbie doll, and she says, And how do you think that makes me feel, Carly? So is that kind of what you're saying? That Carly is like, be unique, because if you're not, you know, then then you suck. Yeah. I kind of like how you related it to like Carly's rules. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because she kind of like, Anna was like, oh, you have all these rules. Yeah. And when one was, she wanted to be unique. And yeah. She wanted everyone to follow. Do you guys have any friends that are like that, that have rules that they feel really strongly about? Or are you like that? Is anybody like that? Not so much. <laughs> that was just me. Carly, I was a lot like her like when I was her age. And I think it was that I was so afraid of falling into that trap of becoming this boring person who did exactly what she was told all the time that that I resisted maybe too strongly sometimes. Okay, so somebody did peace, somebody did love. What about the baby ducks? What's up with that? What are they? The baby ducks were like the ducks that were uh, on the porch from like the boys next door, dropped them off and kind of like, kind of, I think, I think kind of barred her sister, Carly and her sister together. Yeah. So like, they were kind of fighting and like they kind of came together with like the duck, the, the baby ducks. Yeah. So it's kind of a, like a symbol of yeah. like their peace and love bringing them together. So, so there's literal baby ducks 
if y'all do that kind of literary analysis thing, is there a more symbolic, metaphorical interpretation of the ducks too? Do they relate to anything else that you guys can think of? Like Anna and swimming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Carly calls her my little ducky wucky. Yeah. And and also have to learn how to dive. Right. She's got to learn how to kind of, yeah, keep herself afloat. you got to learn how to keep yourself afloat. Yeah. Um, so that reminds me of the, do y'all remember the diving scene in the book? Yeah. What did y'all think about that? Somebody explain what the diving scene was and then, and then tell me what you thought about it. Which one? The one in the beginning or the one in the end? The one in the beginning. Well, they have this diving test for PE and um, Carly is able to do it. But Anna Well, what is a diving test? You have to dive off, do a back high dive off, or a high board. When y'all read that, what did y'all think about that? I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it was backwards. They could have like a back dive off, 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 off the board. I, mean, I, I couldn't. I can't even. I can't dive. dive. So the coach was like, making, he was said that like, if they didn't do the dive right, they failed the whole class. I know. It was yeah. ridiculous. It was ridiculous. It was. That was true, by the way. That was something that happened in true of my high school. We had to do it. And not only that, but we had to do it twice, which I didn't put in the book. We had to successfully do it twice in order to pass VE. So it was really scary. And y'all all say you couldn't have done it, but guess what? You could have actually. If you had to, you could have. I'm kidding. <laughs> How high is that diving board? Like really, really high, like probably 200 feet high. <laughs> I, I uh, looked up on the internet. I think it was, um, I think a high dive is 12 feet, which is two times taller than I am, plus a little extra. So it's a long way. And you look down there at the water, and then to have to just let go and fall. And then you're backwards. It's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so what happened to, do y'all remember what happened to Anna? She, she couldn't do it. She, she went up and back down. down. Did that make, you, how did that make y'all, what was your reaction to that scene? Well, I personally think that that relates to me because I would have came right back down. And also, I think um, it's sort of what what Carly wanted to happen because oh, she, interesting. she said that she was happy that Anna's starting high school now and that she skipped PE just to be with Anna. So she wanted to probably help her out, but there's only so much she could have done. That's interesting, yeah. So, yeah, so Anna and Carly, two different sisters, one old, one young. Are any of you guys sisters? Do y'all have sisters? Yes. Right. Only child. I have a brother. Brother. I have three sisters. Three sisters. Two brothers. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> brother. Brother. Older sister. Sister. Old child. Only child. I have younger sisters. Okay, so we've got some older sisters and some younger sisters and some mix in there. Who did y'all respond to most, Anna or Carly? Anybody or all of you guys? I think Carly. Carly. Anna. Yeah. Are you the younger sister? I'm an only child. Oh yeah, so. you're the only child. So you, you picked Anna. Yeah. yeah. What about you? I think Anna. Anna. Really? Why come? How come do you think? Well, for me, it's kind of like Anna. Well, like not really in like how she wanted to be like everyone else, and she wanted to be like, but kind of personality, how she kind of like wanted to fit in, and how our older, how Carly kind of more out there. And she like didn't care what other people think. Yeah. Yeah, and also like I'm like the youngest. Well, yeah. My little brother's younger, but I'm the youngest. I have, like all my other siblings, so I kind of understand how like my older siblings kind of like are more out there, and I'm kind of like falling, not falling behind, but like I'm kind of still trying to reach. Yeah, and that it's hard, and then you'll never. I mean, you'll yeah. never catch up. <laughs> <laughs> Except for you, really will. But it, you know, they'll always be older than you are. And that makes me think of that scene where Carly's like, Anna's all pissed because she's saying. Stop calling me your little sister. I'm a. I'm not so little anymore. That she's you know gotten this great figure all of a sudden. And B. That makes me feel really small. You know I want to be your equal. And Carly says, but you're you are my younger sister. You'll always be my younger sister unless I die. And then Anna's like. Even then, it'll be 14 months until I'm older. <laughs> and Carly's like, but I'd be dead. <laughs> You're missing the key point. I'd be dead. 